Hello Cebu Philippines! Welcome to my channel here in Life of Miss G here in Vietnam. Another day, another blessing. Bisda ko dai maghatag ninyo permi og kalipay. Yes, friends, ug ni balik ang bisdak na maghatag ninyo pirmi ug kalipay. And before I will tell you what my episode is, allow me first to thank every one of you there. To those of you who really keep on following my channel, thank you also so much. To those of you who really sent warm messages and likes to me, thank you also so much. And to those of you who are sharing my videos to others, thank you all so much. Especially to my avid subscribers here in my channel, thank you all so, so much. Nadaghan kaayo mo na pakpa. Dagang salamat ka ninyong tanan. Maraming salamat po. Don't you worry, friends. Dahil nandito kayo, I will satisfy you with our episode. Hindi ko kayo pababayaan. Or, I don't know how to say that in Tagalog, but in English is, I will never prostrate you. Okay. Ano ba yan siya sa prostrate sa Tagalog? Okay, friends. So then, kuyot takarong adlaw, because I'm gonna be giving you a unique, satisfying, and new episode here in Life of Miss Jing, here in Vietnam! Follow me! Excited na ba kayo kung anong episode natin ngayon? But before that, my friends, allow me first to shout out to the following people here. I would like to shout out Miss Aurelie, Miss Lady Jen, um, Danica, Danica, Impress Catriona. Ang hirap naman. She's my co-teacher sa Indiana Aerospace University, si Danica Impress Catriona. Si Miss Lady Jen naman is our muse sa PKCM. And of course, si Miss Aureline. Okay, hello Miss Aureline. And also, I would like to shout out to Mom Ann, Miss Ann, Mom Nick, and to all of you there, like Rachel or Joy, to so Mom Joy Morales, hindi ko kaya tapusin kayong lahat dyan. Or in short, lahat ng Team Otto. Okay, yan, yeah, tapos ko na talaga isang word na yan. I will bring you here to the most satisfying episode I have. Follow me. Two, three, yes friends. And our episode for today is Vietnamese Bread! Palakpakan! Kuyugi ko ninyo because I'm gonna be giving you information, history, details of this Vietnamese bread. Can you see their bread? It's really so big, my friend. Ayan. Very big. Like, the size of this bread is is more than 12 inches po. More than 12 inches ang length niya. At ang width niya po ay, ano po siya, my friend? Uh, 4 inches ang ano niya, ang kapal niya, my friend. So then, my friend, eto yung Vietnamese bang mi nila. Tinatawag nila itong bang mi. Okay? Because the word bang mi, it means bread, my friends. Okay. I, ano ko sa, sa, in, sa inyo, friends? I-share ko sa inyo ang history ng bang mi nila. Tingnan mo, friends. Ang laki naman. Ang laki, ba? Ito pa siya, friends. Ito. Sobrang laki. So, if I'm gonna be eating this, I would consume this in a week. Ito siya. 
Ang laki-laki talaga siya, friends. Okay? So, you will usually see this along the road of Vietnam or Hanoi or any part of Hanoi or Vietnam, friends. You will see Bang Mi. The first time I arrived here, parang hindi ko siya maintindihan na bakit may, may bread. Why are there bread selling? I mean, why are they selling bread along the road or street? Normal lang sa kanila dito, my friends, okay? They can sell just the bread along the road or along the street. But this time, my friend, because neighbor ko ang bakery, then I bought this bread from the bakery itself, my friend. Okay, hindi po to siya sa daan. And imagine, my friend, kapag bibili ka ng bread nila, kaya nilang kamayin lang sa atin, di ba? Hindi pwedeng kamayin. Dito, kamayin lang nila yan, friends, sa daan. Okay, so, eto yun, friends, ang kanilang Vietnamese bread! Okay, because iparis natin siya sa kape nila, friends, na napakasarap yung G7, the previous episode natin, okay? Eto naman yung ano nila, friends, Vietnamese bang mi. By the way, friends, Vietnamese banh mi started during the French Revolution in 1950 in Saigon, okay? There was one bakery in Saigon which made this banh mi a unique taste for Vietnamese setting, my friend. Okay? Para sa atin po, my friends, for Filipinos, parang matabang siya sa atin because sila kasi, my friends, um, healthy conscious sila and their food usually have herbs and and hindi hindi wala parang walang lasa sa atin mga pinoy but this is really the unique taste of vietnamese bread my friend okay follow me for some information about their vietnamese bread yes friends we are back in our channel with our episode vietnamese bread yes friends okay this is really the local Vietnamese bread they have. Sometimes, my friend, this bread has fillings. Yung parang ginawa nilang hamburger. For an ordinary bread po nila, my friend, gagawin nila itong parang hamburger. May mga herbs-herbs sa loob, tsaka meat. Kaya magiging ano siya, magiging hamburger ang dating sa atin. But they still refer it with the word bang mi. Okay. Bang mi is spelled as b a N H M I My H talaga yan, my friend. Okay. So this is their Vietnamese ban mi. In English, Vietnamese bread. Yes, my friends. And dito kasi sa ano nila, my friend, yung ban mi nila dito, madidistinguish daw talaga wherever you are around the world. According to some Vietnamese people, who are now living from different countries, according to Wikipedia, these Vietnamese people are really longing and craving for the taste of their local Vietnamese bread. Inaasam-asam po nila at hinahanap-hanap nila itong Vietnamese bread nila, kung saan man sila magputa. Kasi nga yung ano nila, friend, yung Vietnamese bread nila is unique taste siya, my friend na mga Vietnamese, hinahanap-hanap nila ito. But for us, it's some kind of parang matabang siya, my friend, for us. Okay? okay. When you come and visit Vietnam, that stay here would never be completed without trying and eating their Vietnamese bread, my friends. Okay. So I hope you learned something out from our episode for today. And to those of you, my friend, who want to be shout out here in my episode, please comment and I will shout you out from the very beginning of my episode now and then, okay? And of course, if you will, if you will, if you wanted to be shout out, of course, subscribe naman chan, okay? Magkasama yung dalawa. I will shout your name, you subscribe my channel, okay? So again, it's hard to say goodbye, but this is not a goodbye because I'm going to give you series and my videos are still on cue to my beautiful editor, Ella. Marami siyang, ed marami siyang videos ngayon sa kanya, okay? Thank you all so much, my friends, 
for being with me in my journey now here in my channel my friend and of course don't forget my friends to press the notification bell to keep you posted and alive with my new and latest videos here in life of miss G here in Vietnam my friends and I hope you learned something out from our episode for today Vietnamese bread yes salamat po thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to share this Vietnamese bread to all of you now nakikita na ninyo kung ano ang Vietnamese bread dito ang laki laki talaga friends okay so thank you all so much and this is teacher Jean from the life of Miss Jean here in Vietnam goodbye